How you doing? I'm Sam Calagione, founder and brewer of Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. And for 25 years, we've been making everything from IPAs to sour beers to rums to gin. And now, during this time of crisis, we've come to see that there's a very specific kind of alcohol that pretty much everybody needs. I never thought I'd say this, but we're launching this week our newest product, Dogfish Head Hand Sanitizer. I got this email from David Grinnell, who oversees brewing for Sam Adams, and in it was a photograph from a European distillery that had repurposed their production facility to start making hand sanitizer. And I was like, duh, this is what we need to start doing. Our engineers went to work overnight and basically built from scratch a custom bottling line just for filling hand sanitizer. There goes two of our engineers right there. Hi, guys. And literally by that Friday, we were shipping our first load to local hospitals. We made the first batch out of our gin and shared it with a hospital, and they were pretty much like, oh, we'd rather smell like nothing than smell like we just came out of a nightclub. So we quickly took all the flavoring and aromatic agents out of the recipe. I don't think that we're heroes. We're hardworking industrious people trying to do something good in this challenging moment. They'll keep the nurses and doctors and emergency workers as safe as possible. So here's a sort of recipe that I've learned that I hope will be applicable to lots of businesses around the country to help them engage in a positive way in this moment of crisis. Step one, you got to start by reaching out to your local or state government to understand where there is need. So in our case, we're working with the state government to understand through their eyes who are the most critical customers for our hand sanitizer, starting with hospitals and health agencies. Step two, sell it. You know, we are a business. We have a payroll. We've got bills to pay. In our instance, we're really proud that we've been able to keep all of our full-time co-workers employed, but we've had to get creative because we did shut down our two restaurants and our hotel, but now they're here helping to make the food for our production co-workers, and they're here packaging and making the hand sanitizer as well. And step three, figure out a way to give back. When we decided that we wanted to provide to the state of Delaware our hand sanitizer, they were like, look, charge us market value, but didn't really have a good taste in our mouth about profiting from this moment of crisis as we worked with the state. So 100% of the profits from the hand sanitizer that we sell to the state will be given to a fund to give financial relief to hospitality workers that have been put out of work by this crisis. Mariah and I were at the grocery store last weekend and a nurse came up to us from the local hospital and said, thank you so much, our stores were really low. And I want you to know I'm keeping that growler when we're done with the hand sanitizer. I'm going to empty it out and refill it with beer at Dogfish when this is all over. And I'll always remember that. Knowing I got to do my part shoulder to shoulder with all my coworkers makes this beer taste that much better. Cheers and stay safe out there. Kidding, do not drink this stuff. 